I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find end behavior of a polynomial function. The question here is describe the end behavior of each polynomial. We are given two polynomials here a is f of x equals to 5x to the power of 7 minus 3x cubed plus x squared minus 10 and the second one is f of x equals to minus 2x cubed minus x to the power of 6 plus 2x minus 1. You need to write end behavior for each polynomial. Now end behavior really means how the y value of the function changes or approaches when we are approaching very large value for x. So if x is approaching minus infinity what happens to y value and if x is approaching positive infinity what happens to y value right or the value of the function f of x that's the end behavior we're looking for as you know end behavior is actually determined by the leading terms we have to identify the leading term in our case case a 5 x to the power of 7 is the leading term. Now here the degree is 5, degree is 7 and leading coefficient is 5, right? More important here is when we look at the degree, degree 7 means odd degree and leading coefficient 5 really means we're looking for a positive value, right? positive. Now if that is the scenario that is if you are working with a polynomial with odd degree and positive leading coefficient then the graph of that polynomial will be positive leading coefficient means right side up odd degree means opposite ends. Do you see that? Now that gives you the end behavior and so we can write down if x approaches minus infinity that is the x value this is f of x if x approaches minus infinity y approaches minus infinity if x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity correct so that is how we can analyze and write down the end behavior i hope the steps are clear right so you need to identify the leading term then leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial determines the end behavior. Correct. I would like you to pause the video, answer the next question, right? So let's do the same thing here. This time, first step, let's identify the leading term. So what is the leading term here? Not the first term, it is this term. Here, the leading term is minus x to the power of 6, right? So, the term which we need to analyze is minus x to the power of 6. Identify the degree and the leading coefficient. Degree is 6, which is even. And leading coefficient, we can say an, is minus 1, which is negative. If that is the case, then the graph will look like what? Leading coefficient is negative means right side is down. Even means same ends. So that is what the end behavior should be like. Now we can summarize the end behavior of this polynomial as when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity, and when x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Both are on the same side when the degree of the polynomial is even, right? So I hope the concept is clear. If the leading coefficient is negative, right side is down, and if the degree is even, then both are on the same ends, right? If the leading coefficient is positive, right side is up, and if the degree is odd, they are at the opposite ends. That really gives you the end behavior. So in the first case, it moves from quadrant 3 to 1. In the second case, it moves from quadrant 3 to 4. Do you see that? 
That's another way of describing end behavior. The graph of the function in case A moves from coordinate 3 to 1, and for B, it moves from coordinate 3 to 4, right? I hope the concept is clear. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you, and all the best.